Hello everyone, this is Jess from the Esteban Public Library and for this week's A to Z World Food, we are making Boterkoek or Dutch butter cake. This is a shortbread-like cake that is commonly served with coffee and only has a few ingredients. For this recipe, you will need some flour, sugar, cold butter, a little bit of vanilla, and one egg. Let's get started! First, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Next, beat one large egg in a separate bowl or mug. Make sure that the whites and the yolks are mixed together well. Once your egg has been beaten, combine two and a half cups of flour and one and a half cup of sugar in a mixing bowl. Once your flour and sugar are mixed together, cut one cup or two blocks of cold butter into small pieces. The smaller, the better. Once your butter has been cut up, place it in the bowl with the flour and sugar mixture. Next, grab a pastry cutter or a fork and continue to cut your butter into the dry ingredients. Make sure there is no lumps of butter. You can also use a stand or a hand mixer to make this process go faster. Once there are no clumps of butter left in your mixture, add one teaspoon of vanilla, which I did off camera, and all but one tablespoon of your beaten egg mixture. Mix these ingredients in with the rest of your dough until it just comes together. Once it's done, it should resemble wet sand. Prepare a nine inch tart or cake pan by greasing it with butter or lining with parchment. Then carefully transfer your dough into the pan. Press on the dough until it's smooth, level, and flat. Once it's flat, you can add some extra designs by running your fork lightly across the top. Once you're done, brush the rest of your egg mixture over top of the cake. When you're finished, place it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. After about 25 minutes, or once the top is golden brown, let it sit and cool completely in the pan before cutting it into wedges and serving. Once your cake has completely cooled, it is ready to serve and enjoy with tea or coffee. I made mine very plain, but you can add lemon zest or almonds for flavor and decoration. Thank you all so much for joining me on this week's A to Z World Food Series. This recipe serves eight and took about 45 minutes to make. The written recipe can be found in the video description below. If you enjoyed this and want to show off your work, be sure to take us on our, your social media posts. I hope you can all join us for our next installment of A to Z World Food Series, but until then, enjoy!